Okay guys, as you can see, the deployment has succeeded and the DC2 is running. It's in the running state now. Uh, I just changed my theme. Uh, it was like dark, I just changed it to this color. And as you can see, if I go inside this, I we have many options like start, restart, stop. How to connect to it? If you remember, um, if I say connect, it will give me an RDP file. But as you can see, it's telling me the private IP address of this one. Correct? 172.16.1.4. However, uh, uh, as you can see, um, I will be connecting to it from the internet, so I won't be able to access it. But my virtual network, uh, what I mean to say, uh, if I am somewhere sitting somewhere else and I download this file, as long as this machine have a public IP, I will be able to RDP to it. And if I define a rule in firewall as well that allow RDP. But if you remember when we were creating virtual machine, I said no, don't allow any public access, including RDP. And this machine doesn't have a public IP address anyway. So how to RDP into it? Well, don't forget we have a IPsec tunnel configured between on-premise network and Azure network. So we are on the same network, so I should be able to do RDP. However, we need to make some exceptions in NSG or Network Security Group to allow RDP from on-premise network to Azure network. So for this case, I go to networking. And as you can see here, inbound rules. It's uh, inbound rules, any port, any virtual network to the, any other virtual network is allowed. Virtual to virtual, right? Port any to load balancer and denied. Virtual to virtual allow, outbound any to allowed, outbound to internet is allowed, right? So here I would like to create one inbound rule source will be IP address and the source IP address range will be 192.168.1.0 slash 24 which is my on-premise network source port range destination any and destination port is I want to allow all the traffic from on-premise network to this machine because later on I need to replicate AD as well. I need to test ping as well. Don't one more one more important thing. Even I do this rule, right? Any and allow and priority, and I will say allow all allow on prem, right? Even if I do that, and this security rule is added into the networking, on this NSG or network security group called DC2.NSG, still I might not be able to ping it because this is the network level security group. See, is it called network security group? It has nothing to do with the local Windows firewall. So local Windows firewall of this machine will not allow me to ping. It will allow me to RDP though, but not ping. So how would we do that? Well, first we will RDP and then after that we will be able to um, uh, change that firewall. So as you can see, and this is the network interface which has been created while that VM get provisioned. Private, no public IP, private IP is this. And if I click on this, let, 
it will tell me if I go to IP configurations that the DR subnet is this, right? Virtual network is this, IP configuration is this, and it's dynamic. I can change it to static. So if I change it to static and save, because don't forget my friend, we want to make this machine domain controller in the future and domain controller needs to have static IP address, right? So once we do that, right? Keep this in mind, it may take a little while for to this configuration needs, to, I mean, it will take, may take a little while for this configuration to be changed in v, on VM itself. Anyway, we have done it static. And one more thing, the DNS servers. Right now, it's using inherit from virtual network. And on that virtual network, if I remember, when we provision a virtual network, I did not define a DNS server. So it will be using Microsoft Azure DNS server. So if I go to this Azure network and go to DNS server, it's using the default DNS server, which is provided by Azure. I would like to, to get custom and I would like to add DNS servers like 168.1.200. This is my domain controller slash DNS, which is on-prem. Second one I would like to use is the server itself. Uh, although right now it, it doesn't have a DNS, but I want it to be used in the future. And the next one, any public IP or public DNS, let's say for the time being. Good old Google DNS, right? So save. So it's saving and updating virtual network. As you can see, see, virtual machines within this virtual network must be started to utilize the updated DNS settings. Perfect. So we go to virtual machine now. And we select this and say restart. Yes, and it's executing the restart command to restart this virtual machine. So once this virtual machine is restarted, we will try to establish RDP from on-prem server to this machine called TC2 or an IP address of 172.16.1.4, which is an IP address of this machine. So I'll wait a while until it gets restarted and then it will resume. 